Aloha, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is Master Paul. Very happy to be connecting with you. Coming at you live from Honolulu. Let's see if I can get a little better lighting here. That seems to help a little bit. Try that. Okay, very good. So welcome, thank you for joining me today. I'm happy to be connecting with you. It is, I believe, the fourth day of October. Coming around very fast. Every time I turn my head, another month has flown by. And today, we're going to be talking about a universal law. It is known as the universal law of universal service. And I'll be sharing with you this wisdom to assist you to be a better person. Now that might uh, grab a lot of people's attention. But there may be some people that turn this video off, which would be very sad. It kind of goes to show where their heart is at. Because the universal law of universal service is one of the most important laws, literally, of the universe. It is the uh, crux of the reason why we are here. So I hope that you stick around if you're one of those new people that are just rolling across this on your timeline or in your group that you happen to be at. <clears throat> then I think you will enjoy today's conversation. So I want to thank you all for coming. So this week has been a very busy week, wrapping up, getting ready for the Open Spiritual Channels course. If any of you have a last minute desire to join that, it starts October 7, and it's a 12-week course for opening your spiritual channels. It's a very small honor fee. It's like, I don't know, less than, it's like $17 a, a week, something like that. It's very, very, very cheap. Uh, but you get so much wisdom out of it because that's what my intention is. This will be the fifth, fourth or fifth uh, class I've conducted in each one. i am uh, become a better presenter uh, of that wisdom. So I hope you uh, try to join that as well. You can do that by going to my website. It's listed above the video. And so let's check in with who's joined us today. So welcome Linda Iloba, welcome also to Dimple, aloha and welcome Phyllis. Welcome also Kristen Rojas, thank you for serving and helping. Welcome Isabel Rice, welcome Cora, aloha and welcome Gabby, and aloha and welcome Phyllis, aloha Roshan, and welcome also to Laura Heaton. And welcome Zilki, welcome Lutzia, welcome also to Anjita. I don't know why it takes my body time to wake up. I woke up about an hour ago and I'm in. Still takes a little bit of time, I guess. And thank you, Kristen, for posting uh, the link on the Open Spiritual Channel. So if anybody's interested, you just go to Kristen's chat and she dropped the link in there for those that are interested. Welcome, Shakira Michi. <clears throat> so, we were very blessed uh, a night or two ago to have our teacher and spiritual father, Master Shah, my teacher and spiritual father, maybe not yours, um, Master Shah, gave us a surprise visit in Honolulu. This visit was uh, offered on about three days notice. He was in, in Honolulu for a very specific business uh, concern and um, he decided to spend a, a few, uh, few hours with his students. So we were not allowed to say anything to anybody. Um, you can imagine the, the, the amount of people that would come if they knew he was in town. So it was a very beautiful small group of people, about 80 people, uh, students that are consistent and dedicated students from all the different islands. 25 students flew in from Maui. Uh, we had uh, six or seven flew in from the Big Island. Uh, another six or seven flew in from Kauai, maybe a few more. And so um, it was a very um, beautiful experience and one of the things that we uh, discussed was the universal law of universal service how important it was and so I'll be touching on that again today and welcome also to Terry Nusina Kristen I'm disappointed you're not going to be able to stay, but blessings for your sciatica condition. 
And Kristen, when you go to Toronto, come see me and I'll show you how to, uh, to self-heal that. So I believe everyone's joined us. Let's go ahead and invite in all the beings of light. And maybe a few more souls will join, but for now, we have a good start. So Master Shah has what's called the four powers. And the first one is the body power, where we place our hands. We place the hand, left hand in front of the heart center, right hand pointed towards heaven. And this connects us in our heart center to heaven. Let's close our eyes and I'll call forth the beings of light. Dear all layers of the divine, the Tao, and the source, all of our mother and father Sherfus, heavens, teams, guides, angels, and saints, our Divine and Tao, Mothers and Fathers, the Sun and the Moon, Mother Earth. We love you, we honor you, respect you, and we invite you to be present at this time in whatever way is most appropriate. We invite the souls of all the angels, healing angels, archangels, masters and ascended masters, Lama, Sifus, Gurus, Saints, Buddhas and Bodhisattvas, beloved Jesus and Mother Mary, beloved Buddha and Kuan Yin, Love Muhammad and Krishna and more beings of light. We love you, honor you all. We invite you to please be present as well. We ask for your assistance and blessings for this wisdom on the universal law of universal service. We are extremely, extremely grateful. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Dear the source soul song of love, peace, and harmony transmitted to all souls and all universes. We love you, we honor you, respect you. Please turn on. We invite all souls and all universes to join with us at this time as we chant this unconditional universal service song. So for those that are new, just watching, this is a mantra. It is a healing instrument. So as we chant to serve, you can receive blessings. And it is something where you can um, download it yourself and receive healing blessings to yourself and for your loved ones. And you can do that by going to lovepeaceharmony.org or downloading the app called Love, Peace and Harmony. So let us chant, let us serve one round of this beautiful mantra, and then we will start today's wisdom teachings and blessings. Lula, Lula, Li. 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 Lula. Wo I wo shin herling, wo I tva badling, rang ling rong her mu shir shang, shang I ping on a she, shang I ping on a she. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. How, how, how? Thank you, thank you, thank you. <coughs> Excuse me. No, I'm not sick. No, I don't have a cold. No idea why the sneeze came. Purification, probably. Thank you for your blessings. <coughs> Make sure I can talk clearly. So welcome Priska Sabanda. Welcome Esther Hearn. Welcome Monica Spiegel. Aloha Sonerty Vibes. And welcome Terry Nasina. If anybody's name I missed, love you, welcome, thank you for coming today. So today, <clears throat> the universal law of universal service. I will read some direct information from Master Shah's book in a few minutes. Just wanted to talk about this for a minute. You know, raise your hand if you have any form of suffering, right? Do you have, are you suffering anywhere? Do you have physical suffering? Are you emotionally, you know, suffering? Uh, do you have significant uh, emotions, fears, anxieties, worries, depressions? Um, most of us anger, right? Most of us have a variety of these. What about uh, mental negativity? Just can't seem to move out the negativity. Uh, people with ego surrounding you everywhere. Maybe you have ego that you want to get over. 
mindsets, attitudes, beliefs, mind blockages. Most of us have these kinds of suffering. Some of us <clears throat> are suffering because we're lost in life or we were in a huge long-term relationship and then it's just exploded and we're just like scattered in our soul, heart, mind and body. So all of us have our own variations of this kind of condition in our life. The universal law of universal service has a very unique and powerful purpose. Far, far more than people understand and give it credit for. Welcome Lisa Lam, welcome Angela. The universal law of universal service is a root law. It is a law that is not changeable. It is a law that literally is born into your soul. It is born with your soul. It is a law that affects everyone and everything. Immutable. There is not a single thing in the universe that is not touched by this law. That is what is meant by a universal law. There is every part of every speck of the entirety of creation is touched by this law. So why did I start out with, <clears throat> are you suffering? Are you suffering physically, emotionally, mentally, spiritually? Because the root of all suffering can be resolved by the deep understanding of the root of this law of universal service. So many of us give credit, merit, and value to the predicaments in our life. It's not that we don't, you know, my brother called me yesterday. He, he lost uh, about half his income from the government um, and him having a miscommunication. So he was in a very depressed place. Now, granted, that's going to be one of those things, just like a loss of relationship or anything else, that will jerk at our mind, will jerk at our heart, etc. <clears throat> However, those that comprehend the universal law of universal service and apply it each and every day have multiple benefits. If, for example, you were born and your parents taught you the universal law of universal service, which I will go over in just a few minutes, exact and specific words. If your parents taught you this, you would be creating good, virtuous, karma in your life, good virtuous activities and events in your life. You would not be cheating, killing, taking advantage of others. There are many out there that take advantage of us. Why do we have to lock our doors on our cars and our house? Because there are those that dishonor the universal law of universal service. They have not learned their lessons. <laughs> Suffering of all kind has a root. Suffering of all kind, physical suffering, relationship suffering, financial suffering, it doesn't matter what the suffering is, it has a root cause. And that root cause boils back to the imbalance and inappropriate understanding and application of the universal law of universal service. So now I will read that and then we'll come back around to this. <clears throat> now this act can actually be found in, in most all of Dr. and Master Shah's books. I'm going to be using this book called The Power of Soul. I believe it's probably backwards in your camera. But it's called The Power of Soul. And in the front of his books, in the preface, he states this universal law again and again and again. That's a lot of agains, just three of them. He has 21 books. At least 15 of his books have this universal law in the preface. Do you think it maybe is important? <clears throat> Why does he repeat it again and again? There's a value in the wisdom. So, I'm going to start by giving you a little bit of background on who is Dr. and Master Shah, just for those that are not familiar. Um, He's made a vow to serve humanity. I'm going to briefly read his vow. <clears throat> he has three empowerments. His first empowerment is to teach universal service, to empower people to be unconditional universal servants. Servant? I don't want to be a servant. 
It's hard enough for me to take care of myself. He wants me to serve everybody else and unconditionally? Are you kidding me? What is this guy nuts? I tell you, there's a lot of people that would respond that way. Maybe not you. <clears throat> We're all so stuck in our own stuff that even when they hear the word service or serving others or being a servant, the mind instantly pushes it down and says it's a bad word. <clears throat> Excuse me. Drink a little more tea here, see if I can clear that. This is his first desire to empower humanity. I serve humanity and the universe unconditionally. You, this is a universal law, you serve humanity and the universe unconditionally. Together, we serve humanity and all souls in all universes unconditionally. My second empowerment is to teach. This is Master Shah's second empowerment. To teach healing to empower people to heal themselves and to heal others. How cool is that, right? We have a teacher that wants to teach us to heal ourselves and heal others. I think I want to pay attention to what this guy has to say. The mantra is, I have the power to heal myself. You have the power to heal yourself. Together we have the power to heal the world. I can tell you a lot of people go, I have the power to heal myself, right? We give away our power to everybody outside of us because we do not understand the root of all suffering. The universal law of universal service this explains the root very clearly. I'm moving towards it. But this says clearly, I can heal myself, you can heal yourself. Together we have the power to heal the world. How is it that we can heal ourselves? Well, when we understand the universal law of universal service, we can understand that statement. Master Shah's third empowerment. This is his, his entire life has been dedicated to bringing this wisdom to humanity. That is a very special being. His third empowerment is to teach the power of soul, which includes soul secrets, soul wisdom, knowledge, and practices, and to transform, excuse me, to transmit soul power to empower people to transform every aspect of their lives. The sentences that go with this third empowerment are, I have the soul power to transform my own consciousness and every aspect of my life and enlighten my own soul, heart, mind, and body. You have the soul power to transform your consciousness and every aspect of your life and enlighten your soul, heart, mind, and body. Together, we, have the soul power to transform the consciousness of every aspect of life and enlighten humanity and all souls. So these three empowerments are not small empowerments. These are things that Master Shah said, I want to bless you to understand the power of your own soul to heal yourself. I want to bless you to be able to empower to heal others. I want to bless you to understand your soul and how you can heal your own soul. I want to bless you to be an unconditional servant, to understand service. This is a, a, a real, why the person has the name Master in front of their name. Because they are dedicated to serve others unconditionally. Now, I'm going to read you the universal law of universal service. And this is exactly how it is listed in this book. Now, I, wanna, I have to preface this because there are some new people watching. Welcome, uh, Bobby. Welcome also Pete Sands and uh, Mina. Welcome Christina Ann and Angela Colucci. Welcome Lisa Lamb and anybody else. Thank you for joining. So if you are a spiritual being, you are probably opened your heart and your, your mind enough to understand that we can receive messages. We as human beings can receive messages. We can receive messages from our own soul. Uh, we call that intuition in most cases, but it's really most often our soul or our individual heavens team talking to us. We label it intuition because we don't really grasp that we are surrounded by beings of light. And these beings of light are always talking to us. 
So as we further open our spiritual channels, some of us can see the beings of light. Some of us can hear them much more clearly. Those that are very advanced beings, meaning they've opened their spiritual channels, cleared ego, mindsets, attitudes, beliefs, then they can have direct communication with these beings of light. This is very common. Every human being has these capabilities. You have these capabilities. The people that are doing this uh, at a high level, we might look up to them and go, oh my God, but you know what? It's, it's learnable. Everybody can do it. Master Shah has been doing it for many, many lifetimes. And in this lifetime, starting at the age of five, he was actually um, communicated with by Buddhas who grew up in China. And they, and his third eye was open. And so he had been taught since an early age, remembering all the service he had offered in previous lifetimes. So the next sentence that I reveal, for some of you might be like, whoa. Well, don't, don't monkey your mind around it. Master Shah has been serving humanity many, many lifetimes, and he came back to do it again. So here's the sentence. In April 2003, I held a power healing workshop. This is from the Power of Soul book <clears throat> in California. I was teaching, and the divine appeared. Who's the divine? The divine is creator, right? God. The divine appeared. I told the students, the divine is here. Could you please give me a moment? And I knelt down and bowed down to the floor to honor the divine. So there's 500 students in front of him. He says, please forgive me, students. The divine is here. And he got down on the floor and put his head on the floor to the divine. So, something to think about. At the age of six, he was taught to bow down to his Tai Chi masters. At the age of 10, he bowed down to his Qigong masters. At the age of 12, he bowed down to his Kung Fu masters, being Chinese. He learned the courtesy in childhood. And he explained to the students, please understand this, that this is the way I honor the divine, my spiritual fathers and spiritual mothers. Now I will have a conversation with the divine. This is what he told the students. And he began to silently converse with the divine. He said, I am very honored that you are here. The divine who was in front of me, I'm reading his exact words, the divine who was in front of me above my head replied, Jirgong. His name is Jirgong Shah. The divine said, Jirgong, I come today to pass a spiritual law to you. The divine continued, the spiritual law is named the universal law of universal service. It is one of the highest spiritual laws in the universe, in all creation, one of the highest in all creation. It applies to the spiritual world and the physical world. Very important. It, uh, this same law does not stop here in our physical experience. When we cross over, the same law applies. Very relevant information. The divine commented, the spiritual law, okay, the divine pointed to himself, the divine pointed to divine, and said, I am a universal servant. Ah, oh, what a beautiful sentence. God says, I am an unconditional universal servant. The divine pointed to Master Shah. He said, you are a universal servant. The divine swept his hand in front of the audience and the world and said, everyone and everything is a universal servant. A universal servant, he goes on to continue, a universal servant offers universal service unconditionally. Universal service includes universal love, universal forgiveness, peace, healing, blessing, harmony, and enlightenment. If one, very important, if one offers a little service, one receives little blessings from the universe and from me. So remember, this is the divine talking. If one offers more service, one receives more blessings. If one offers unconditional service, one receives unlimited blessings. Unlimited. The divine paused for a moment before continuing. There is another kind of service which is unpleasant service. Unpleasant service includes killing, harming, taking advantage of others, 
unpleasant service includes complaining, cheating, and stealing, and more. If one offers a little unpleasant service, one receives a little lesson. If one offers a little more unpleasant service, one receives bigger lessons. If one offers huge unpleasant service, what's huge unpleasant service? Killing, laying off millions of people for greed. Then one learns huge lessons. It's a very gentle teaching if you think about it. These are the exact words. It's very gentle but powerful teaching. Then Master Shah replied, what kind of lessons could be learned? The this, this goes back to my statement at the beginning. Are you suffering? So listen carefully. What kind of lessons can be learned was asked. The Divine replied, the lessons could include sickness, accidents, injuries, financial challenges, broken relationships, emotional imbalances, mental confusion, and disorder. The Divine emphasized, this is how the universe operates. That is one of my most important spiritual laws for all souls in the universe to follow. So after the Divine delivered this universal law, Master Shah immediately made a vow, which you can see in his actions here on earth. He said, I am extremely honored to receive your universal law of universal service. I make a vow to you and to all humanity, to all souls in all universes, that I will be an unconditional universal servant. I will give my total gold, the gold stands for G-O-L-D, gratitude, obedience, loyalty, and devotion. I will give my total gold. I am honored to be your servant divine and to serve humanity and all souls. So this is on uh, the preface of the Power of Soul book. And it's in about 15 of his books. I think it's a little important. I bow my head to my spiritual father, Master Shah. Beautiful soul, beautiful wisdom. <clears throat> I started this live stream. Are you suffering? Do you have pain? I have relationship issues. Do you have blockages in finances? Do you have suffering anywhere in your life? That these have root causes. Okay, understand these have root causes. The universal law of universal service clearly defines the root causes. There is no dicing of the words. It was very clear. Do a little unpleasant service, receive a little lesson. Do a little more unpleasant service, receive a bigger lesson. What are the lessons, Master Shah asked the Divine. The Divine responded, sickness, financial blockages, emotional suffering, and more. Dunk, 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 dunk. Are you having any of those? Well, yeah, but, 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 but I didn't do anything wrong in this life. I've been a good person. I believe you. I believe you're probably an excellent person. It's, high, it's highly unlikely you'd be watching today if you didn't have an open heart and a desire to grow and to serve. It doesn't mean we have always been the beautiful souls that we are now. The universal law of universal service, as was stated, is not limited to this physical world. It also goes into the spiritual world. So that means all layers of creation are under this law. So that means when you cross over, if you think negative things about that angel over there that's wearing pink wings, that goes against you. Check. So everything that we do, every thought, every word, every action creates good marks or unpleasant marks, brings us good benefits or unpleasant benefits. It's very simple math. But we get so lost in dealing with things at the physical level. We try to fix the financial problem by working hard. We try to fix the relationship problem by begging, please come back. We try to fix things on the physical level with physical responses. That does not align to the universal law of universal service. What it says is if you want to solve your suffering problems, go outside of yourself. Now that doesn't necessarily mean going to the soup kitchen 24 hours a day. What it means is, do not speak evil, do not gossip, do not watch unpleasant things. 
See no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil, think no evil. Watch your thoughts. Watch your tongue. When you start the process of clearing up your world, be beneficial to others. Help others across the street. Help others carry their groceries. Call friends. Check in on them when you get that intuitive insight. Do what you can when you can. It means being selfless more than selfish. When you look at the great beings before us, the Muhammads, the Krishnas, the Buddhas, the Jesus, the Mother Marys, and all the other great beings, known and unknown, when you look at them, what is the constant theme in their life? They are unconditional universal servants. That's why they are beings of light. That's why Mother Mary is there. That's why Mother Teresa is Mother Teresa. They give unconditionally. Suffering is limited when we go out of our own stuff and be present to others. When we have no agenda but just to serve others. Why do we chant love, peace, and harmony? Why? To make us feel better? That's selfish. So sometimes I do that. I need that. You need that. Nothing wrong with it. But what's the higher wisdom? Dear all souls in all universes, especially all those that are suffering from depression, like I am now, as an example, please chant love, peace, harmony with me. I'm chanting to serve you. This is an example of unconditional universal service. Serve little, receive little benefit. What does that mean? Every time I do something a little bit, a little bit, a little bit, to bless and serve others, give the guy on the street a coffee, 50 cents, right? Whatever it is, every little thing is recorded. Check. Oh, oh, they did something wonderful. Oh, another little thing. Oh, they had a good thought. Oh, they thought, oh, they were going to have a gossip thought and they changed it. Good job. Right? Check, check, check. All these little positive check marks go into your bank account in heaven. Did you know you had a bank account in heaven? Everybody has a bank account in heaven. The bank account is filled with good karma and bad karma. Is it in a debit balance, a negative balance? Is it in a positive balance? How can you tell? Where is your sufferings at? Your bank account has subdivisions. It has a relationship division, a financial division, it has a health division, it has all these different divisions. If you have helped others to improve their health, your health may be good. If you have harmed others' finances, your finances may be suffering and so forth. You could have certain areas of your life that are wonderful. Your relationships could be very powerful and wonderful, but you're suffering mentally. Why? It's very possible in this or a previous lifetime that you or someone directly connected in your ancestral tree have created emotional suffering upon others or mental suffering upon others. So it's very simple. The universal law of universal service acknowledges that where things are going good for you, you have probably earned that. The universal law of universal service says where things are not going for good for you, you personally, the you of today, may not have earned that. Okay? I believe you when you say, I'm a good person. I believe myself when I say I'm a good person. I still have suffering. Okay? I know I'm a good person, but why am I still suffering? I can go, oh, poor me. Or I can simply look at the universal law and universal service and say, hmm, I'm suffering in this specific area. And the law says, da 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 da. So that means that if I go out of my way to serve others in these same conditions, to get out of my own selfishness and stop whining about my own stuff, then I will create positive check marks in the bank account in heaven. Another word for the bank account in heaven is your Akashic records, right? Your soul records everything. Your Akashic records records everything. Okay? And so this, all of these are noted in the Akashic Records. So every time you have a beautiful thought, every time you chant uh, uh, or sing love, peace, and harmony to serve others, or any uh, beautiful, you could, you don't, what if you don't know the song of love, peace, and harmony? Okay, do you believe in um, Krishna? Then chant. Krishna, 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 Krishna. You believe in Jesus? Jesus, Jesus, bless everyone. Je Does it matter? Chant something that serves others. Can you do that while you're washing dishes? Yes. Can you do that while you're driving in traffic? Yes. Can you do these things when you're doing basic, boring, nothing stuff in your life? Yes. 
Can you do that when you're suffering? Yes. It's simple wisdom, but we are so far from it because we have been taught by our parents, our peers, and our belief systems that we must do something to have something. This is not true. We don't fix a physical problem by addressing it physically. Doing something could mean simply sitting still and in your heart and in your mind offering universal service. There's been a lot of scientific data out there. This is hard for us to grasp. It could say something like, when we, um, whatever we think about, we manifest. Okay, most of us can say, oh, I, got, I got some belief in that. There's things out there that say um, that everything is a 3D world, that we're actually manifesting from our mind and this is all just made up stuff. Whoa, that's a little heavy. There's different things out there that validate that if we just sit still and just connect to the source, offer love to the source, we receive love back. This is how we remove our suffering by applying the universal law of universal service. There is even a mantra that came after this uh, message was revealed to Master Shah. <clears throat> and I taught this in my uh, Tao self-healing course. The mantra is universal service. That's the, the words and it just repeats. Universal service, universal service, universal service, universal service. But when Master Shah delivered this mantra and the tone to it, he didn't say, okay, chant it. Here's what he said. He said, if you're suffering financially, do it like this. Dear all souls of humanity who have significant financial suffering, I want to chant to serve you. And you sit down and you chant universal service and you see all of those souls who are suffering financially receiving blessings. This is in direct alignment with the universal law of universal service. So this wisdom was, is, was brought about 15 years ago, 2003. How many of you are applying it in your life? How many times have you heard this before and are still not applying it in your life? Right? So the wisdom is always in front of us. It's being taught by all kinds of different high-level beings, beings of light, masters, ascended masters. Some, some of you have lamas, sifus, gurus. Some of you have um, mentors. And they teach this to us. Why don't we apply it? The answer would be the karma, so to speak. The answer would be the spiritual debts that we have incurred by doing unpleasant service. They literally cause us to fall back into old patterns. Some of us might do it for a day or two and then we fall back into an old pattern and going, woe is me, I have all these problems. We complain to other people. How many of you complain to other people? Right? Why do we do that? Because we want attention. My life sucks. Please give me attention. <laughs> a lot of us do that, whether you want to believe it or not. I do it. I don't do it in that way, but I still complain. Always learning, always growing, always picking the weeds, right? But what's the solution? Get out of our own stuff. Serve others unconditionally. So we're going to do one practice. We're going to chant the mantra, universal service. You're going to choose one area of suffering in your life. I don't need to see it. You can keep it personal. Great. It's between you and the divine. But choose the area of suffering in your life. It could be a specific condition. It could be relationship. It could be finances. It could be a mindset. It, it, it could be a negativity. It could be an emotion you just can't seem to get over. And choose one. And then I'll walk you through a forgiveness practice, very important, and how you set up before you start chanting and to serve others. Okay? So we start by placing our hands in the soul light, soul service hand position. It's a prayer position. We just drop the left hand in front of the heart center. Okay? Connecting heaven to our heart. So do that. Close your eyes. Think about the one suffering in your life. Don't give it attention. Just know it. And when comfortable, repeat after me. Dear my beloved divine creator, my name is, state your name, Paul Fletcher, Paul Fletcher, Paul Fletcher. 
I am deeply, deeply grateful for the wisdom that you continually bring to humanity through great beings and through Master Shah. I am grateful for the wisdom of the universal law of universal service. I most humbly and sincerely ask that you assist me to serve others today with the chanting of universal service. <clears throat> Dear all souls in all time, if I or if my ancestors have brought harm or suffering to you by thoughts, by words, by actions, especially for the condition of, now you state your condition, that you're going to serve others for. Maybe it's depression, maybe it's finances, whatever, state that. If I or my ancestors have ever caused this kind of suffering to any souls anywhere in time, there is no excuse. I am not that kind of person now. I would not wish that upon anybody. But I recognize that I have this suffering now. And I recognize that I or my ancestors may have made some unpleasant services in previous times and brought these unpleasant conditions to others. And if we have, if I have, I place my head on the ground in my heart with the deepest forgiveness I sincerely sincerely apologize to all of the souls that may have been harmed in this way please forgive me please forgive my ancestors this this is a good forgiveness this is how you do a good forgiveness deeply apologize I wish to chant now to serve all of those souls that have the same suffering. Continue to repeat. Dear the Divine, dear the Tao, the Source, all the beings of light, Mother Earth, the Sun and the Moon, dear the soul of all the angels, healing angels, archangels, masters, ascendant masters, beloved Jesus and Mother Mary, beloved Buddha and Kuan Yin, all the beings of light, I love you, honor you, appreciate you. I invite you to join with me, to chant with me, to serve these other souls. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So now, as we chant, visualize light rays beaming from all of the beings of light, from Mother Earth, the Sun and the Moon, from God, to all of these souls that have suffered. Many have suffered at the hands of you and your ancestors. Many others have suffered. Visualize the light going to them. Let us offer this universal service. Unconditional universal service. Chant with me. Unconditional universal service. Unconditional universal service. Unconditional universal service. Unconditional Universal Service 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 See the light going to all of those souls who deserve this light. All the souls that you and your ancestors may have harmed. Unconditional Universal Service 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 
unconditional universal service unconditional universal service unconditional universal service unconditional universal service unconditional universal service unconditional universal service unconditional universal service unconditional universal service unconditional universal service now visualize from your heart you're receiving people's forgiveness those that you may in previous times have deeply harmed open your heart to receive their forgiveness but continue to serve them unconditional universal service 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 all of the beings of light are also shining their light on you they are assisting you to clear your blockages. But we are serving others. Let us continue. Unconditional universal service. Unconditional universal service. Unconditional universal service. Unconditional universal service 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 silently chant mm -hmm. See the light blessing all those souls you may have harmed. You may have significant suffering. Serve with all your heart. I will offer a third eye reading while you are chanting to serve. Continue. At this time, there is a huge light surrounding Mother Earth. Actually, light is coming also from Mother Earth outwardly to other stars, planets, galaxies, and universes. Those that are on Earth are receiving blessings. There is such a web of connectivity that those that are receiving the souls themselves are bowing down in gratitude. They have also joined in the chanting to serve others that they have harmed. 
And then those that are on the receiving end of that service are bowing down in gratitude and they are chanting to serve others. There is literally a domino effect occurring where more and more souls are chanting to serve others because their hearts are touched by this unconditional universal service. See the domino effect as we continue to serve. Unconditional universal service. 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 And now let us gently bow our heads to all the souls that have forgiven us. They have offered us their unconditional forgiveness because we have truly acknowledged our mistakes, our ancestors' mistakes. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let us bow our heads to the Divine, the Tao, the Source, and all the beings of light who offered their service. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Their service was not just to others, they served us as well. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And now, when you're ready, open your eyes, return, and check in with yourself. Do you feel more calm, more relaxed, more enlightened? If you had a physical suffering, is it shifted now? If you are emotionally or mentally out of balance, is it more in balance now? The universal law of universal service is the simplest understanding law. Serve others, you receive good benefits. Why is this relative? Stop our own suffering. We go out of our way. Stop fixing things ourselves. Just help and bless others. All of our problems will self-repair. This is the simple wisdom. It is truly as easy as that. We just got to go outside of ourselves. And if you're immobile, you have restrictions, whatever it might be, do it from your chair, just like we did just now. You do this two, three, four hours a day. I tell you, your sufferings could reverse in three months, six months, one year. You could be a completely different person. It's just a matter of applying this ancient, ancient, uh, priceless, universal wisdom. So I want to thank all of those who have come to offer this unconditional universal service today. Thank you for your beautiful comments. I want to do a very short calling. If you're interested in opening your spiritual channels, please follow the links. Kristen Rojas has posted the links. Come to my website. It starts in three or four days. Um, highly reduce. Open third eye. Talk to beings of light, etc. If that's of interest to you, then please come. I want to offer you my deepest gratitude for coming and sharing this video. Others can certainly benefit from it. Let us say three thank yous to all of the beings of light, three love yous, and three gong songs, which is Mandarin Chinese for respectfully return. We offer our respect to the soul world. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Love you, love you, love you. Gong song, gong song, gong song. I invite you all to join me Sunday, 6 p.m. Hawaii time. We chant to serve others for the condition of cancer. Bye-bye. See you soon.